Hello heroes, Joe Smith here. Heard about this earlier today. Checking the new set lines on uh, or taking a break. It happened back like 2019, I think it was, at a Houston Astros game. Um, baseball game there, of course. Uh, if anyone out there doesn't know who the Houston Astros are. But apparently a foul ball went into the stands, like often happens at baseball games. And unfortunately, a very, very sad story hit a little baby girl that was a baby or one years old or something at the time in the head, causing a skull fracture, causing a brain injury or brain damage, causing her to have seizures. She is like four now, so one or two or something at the time, maybe. Um, the family sued the Astros, or don't know if it was Major League Baseball or just the Astros, uh, over not having enough netting up in place to protect them. And the Astros have uh, recently announced that they were settled or they came to agreement uh, with a settlement claim that the parents agreed to. Uh, you know, the, the girl's doing better. Uh, four years old now, hasn't had any seizures in 22 months, and doctors are trying to reduce and wean her off the um, anti-seizure medicine. Don't know if she's going to be damaged for life now because of this uh, or if she has a chance of a full recovery but um, you know it just want to cry hearing about it and, and poor girl or that but a very tragic incident very very tragic incident but But, here's the thing, and you know, this is just some thoughts here. Uh, Joe Smith just want to share some thoughts from both sides here, of course. And get your, your heroes' feedback, get feedback from your heroes of the Hero Nation. Uh, to see uh, what should be done to prevent this in the future. Uh, if this was something that could have been avoided, uh, who should share more of the blame, or all the blame, uh, like is this really Astro's fault or baseball's fault for not having netting up and f surrounding the entire park to prevent home runs and foul balls from going into the stand so little kids can catch them and take home souvenirs and get all happy and excited. Uh, to prevent players from tossing balls to little kids in the stands because there's netting or plexiglass or whatever in place, kind of like at hockey games, but not just around the baseline, your home plate like there is now, but should be extended and put around the entire park so that way nothing ever can go into the stands ever again because isn't that kind of half the thrill of being there at the game you just a little kid you take your glove and hope you can catch a foul ball or home run you get seats down close to the wall there so you have a better chance of maybe catching something or should the uh, parents have a little bit of blame here. Uh, I don't don't remember seeing the clip or not of it actually happening. Um, but there's like lots and lots of clips on YouTube of uh, foul balls and baseballs and stuff going into the stands accidentally and 
and, and people in the stands catching them or other people get hit or other people almost get hit but someone makes a miraculous grab and saves the other person from getting hit. So, you know, um, every uh, baseball game Joe Smith ever been to, minor league or major league, uh, ever since a little kid, remember them announcing and multiple times and showing on the uh, jumbotron screen or that that um, anything that goes into the stands uh, you can keep as a souvenir but at the same time warning anything that goes in the stands can be dangerous and and impose injury so the parents maybe have purchase tickets uh, further back or an upper deck or somewhere where they would not have had uh, as great of a risk of um, foul ball or something going into the stands and hitting them. After all they were almost by the wall like front row or a couple rows back I think it was. So they're like real close to the field and yeah you kind of like getting those seats real close to the action, but uh, should they have been a little bit more cautious and since they had a baby, uh, stay back away from the field a little bit further when they purchase their tickets? Or should the Astros have had more netting up around the entire field? Or all the baseball teams have netting up around the entire field? Or is it like maybe a 50-50 thing? Like, yeah, they should have stayed back further and they should have had netting up too or, so, or something or down further. And then the more netting, or the further down the netting, then those other kids don't get the chance of uh, catching a foul ball or home run or whatever. And they don't have time to, or opportunity to, um, they have a, a dead ball tossed to them by one of the players on the fields after they get three outs or something. So should we take away this, uh, uh, excitement, this opportunity for excitement for these other kids just to protect a few people from chance of injury or or should people with babies or small children uh, stay a little bit further back and you know a lot of these clips of people getting hit or almost being hit by foul balls that are on YouTube, they're usually like talking to someone next to them or or on their cell phone or something when it happens and like you have a chance of getting hit and you're not paying attention but yeah when you attend an event like this you you kind of have the reasonable expectation of not having a life changing injury or being injured at all at the same time they do announce that there is a chance for an injury and, and stay close to the field at your own risk type thing so, not sure what the settlement was uh, you know honestly so Smith here thinks that Astro should at least pay for any hospital bills and stuff like that and and if there is a um, life changing permanent injury to maybe compensate in that way for somehow or other but at the same time if other people that aren't seriously injured that try to sue aren't really injured at all but maybe a you know, bruise that lasts a week or something, and with no 
hospital bills for permanent injury, then then they sh- should not be allowed to sue, or their lawsuits should be uh, dismissed because that was the inherent risk that they took by uh, going to the venue to the event and sitting in the location where they did. Please post some comments, whether you agree, disagree, what's your thoughts? And please everyone, let's pray that this little girl uh, gets better here and is able to recover and live a normal life. So hopefully we can all agree on that matter at least. Thanks for watching. Joe Smith, sign out.